Well, 2023 has come to an end. Wishing you all a fantastic new year, and I hope that this year has served you well and you have had a lot of success in your life. This year has been very great for me, and I hope that that continues into the new year. I'm sure it will, so I'm wishing you much success as well. Now, this year has been pretty good. I must say pretty good for the channel as well. We now have access to memberships on this channel. So if you would like to become a member to help support it, help support new content, new games, all I have is one tier at the moment, one, $1 a month, not 99 cents a month, actually, I believe is what it is. And you can just get early access to some of the streams about two weeks prior to when the video goes public. So that's entirely up to you if you wish to become a member. It certainly helps out quite a bit, even if it's just a dollar, you know? It also gives you access to some emojis that you can use in the comments. I would like to share what my favorite games were. And this was incredibly hard to do, primarily because I played so many great games for this year that it was so hard picking top three, not to mention a honorable mention, because for the honorable mentions, I, I could not pick one. I had to pick like like three, close to three. I was debating on three. So what are those three for the honorable mentions? One of them is Tekken 3, an absolute fun game from my childhood. I really enjoyed that. Oh, you're burning your, you're burning your, your daddy. The next was Resident Evil 2. This was an incredibly fun game. And I really liked how it looked with all of the upscaled textures and everything. Excuse me, sir, I just need to check and confiscate the bullets from your asshole. But if I had to choose one honorable mention, this was so hard to do. It would have to be Siphon Filter 2. This game is a huge improvement over the first one, getting rid of a lot of the difficult, massively rage-inducing moments of the first game, improving upon it. There are certainly some difficult moments. Look at me. Look at the science in physical form. I love this. Look at my wife. Oh, she looks so pretty. Oh, look at all those wrinkles. I Oh, yes, look at her. Look how pretty she is. She's so pretty. I love her. Now for my top three games. This was so hard to pick if it wasn't obvious by the three honorable mentions. But number three goes to Half-Life. This is an incredibly popular game. And of course, shortly after I play it, they come out with the 25th anniversary update, which brings con native controller support. It brings the um, HUD being able to scale up, which is what a mod that I that I use in the game. And I'm just like, you know, if only I just waited a little bit. But, you know, I'm glad that I played it when I did because it was a lot of fun. And we still have some other modes of the game to actually play, such as Opposing Force and Blue Shift, as well as horror mods that I plan on playing as well of, of the game. And we cannot forget the favorite All the commentary that I've done for for games, this I remember being one of my absolute just hilarious commentary. And I just oh my gosh, I I just I will watch a little bit of it and I'm just cracking up so hard. Oh yes, Gordon. Max FOV. Look at your FOV. Look at your Fauci on Viagra. It is so good. It is so good. It is, it is, it is remarkable. Look at this. Look at this FOV. This is, this is the best FOV you could possibly get in a game. This is what can happen if your Fauci on Viagra lasts for over eight hours. Yes, it, it, it grows into a claw. It grows into a claw. So now, sir, we're going to have to remove this. We're going to have to remove it. Okay, hold, hold still. Oh, it's not working. Hold on. Oh, it's, that's not working. Hold on. There you go. Oh. Sorry, sir. You did. See, this is, how you, this is how your penis should actually be. Yes. Number two goes to Rebellion Gaia. You may have never heard of this game. You probably will never hear about this game really again. Because guess what? I am the only person who's actually done a complete playthrough of this game, at least at this time. I, I don't know if anyone else will will step up and do a playthrough of it, but I'm the only one who's done a complete playthrough. So there you go. I, I, I feel a little bit special about that, to be completely honest with you. But it's an RPG game made by a small team, 
small group of people. The story is very vast. It is it is remarkable what they managed to fit into this and all of the funny moments. My gosh, this game was absolutely hilarious and the references were amazing. The Outlaw Clinton. Oh. <laughs> you know, honestly, it looks just like her. This is an act actual real depiction of, of Hillary Clinton right here. What do you Molochs want? I want to buy some spice. Buy direct and save. Over my dead body. And I never die. Why do you sound like Dr. F? It's because I'm related to him. Oh look, she looks so much better there. So my number one favorite game of 2023 was Silent Hill 2. This was my absolute favorite because Silent Hill 3, which is one that I owned when I was much younger, is one of my favorite games of all time. And I had seen several playthroughs of Silent Hill 2 prior to me actually playing it. So I, so I knew what I was in for. And based on what I saw, I knew that this was a game that I was going to really enjoy. And if I had it back in the day, it would have been one of my favorite games of all time. Now, what I really like about it is the story. It's basically about James. He comes to Silent Hill because he gets a letter from his dead wife, Mary, to meet her in their special place and he has no idea what is going on and it really throws you for a psychological loop. James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? And that is my favorite games of 2023. So I conducted a poll to see what your favorite games of 2023 were. And... Your number three game was Tekken 3. So this is a game that was on my honorable mention, close to my honorable mention, one that I absolutely loved, and this was a very fun game to play. Your number two game was Siphon Filter 2. This is a very good choice as well, because this one, this one was very, very good. And your number one game, see if you can guess what it is, because this one, this one dominated. This one was the biggest winner by a decent amount. And that was Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 was your favorite game and my favorite game. It looks like we shared a favorite game in common. So I want to thank you all so very much for this wonderful year. And I'm wishing you a wonderful new year as well. Whatever it brings you, I'm wishing you much success and positivity with whatever it is that you're doing. And we have a bunch of games coming up. We have the Madvent calendar coming up. I actually started it in December for once instead of waiting until... February or March to actually play it. So this is this is the fourth Mad Mad Ben calendar with an amazing opening sequence. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely amazing. I will see you all then. You all take care. Have a great one and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.